Can you get out of the way? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So first off, I want to say that I am a dog mom and my dogs are very needy today. So they will be appearing in this video from time to time. Um, I just can't lead them out of the room. I just don't have that kind of heart. But anyways, so today's video is going to be the same video that I film after every semester and that's going to be simply about how my semester went. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am pre-med. I was in nursing and then I switched over to bio pre-med with a minor in psychology. And yeah, this is my second to this is my second to last semester. I had about 22 credit hours this semester, and I'm the sort of kind of person that I need to have a social life, and I also need to get good grades. So balancing the two and having my two dogs, a house to run by myself because I do live alone is a lot. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So. We'll start out with my online classes this semester. I took two online classes. So the first one was a capstone class and this class is called QCP. Um, it's a class catered to my particular university. And hold on, my dog is eating my shoe. Hey, 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 Cooper. Hey, stop it. Um, hi buddy. But, uh, Yes, yeah, so the first one was the QCP class, and that class was a lot of busy work. I'm sure this is not a class you guys care about hearing about, but it was a lot of busy work. It was pretty much like a global issues class, so I chose one global issue, and then I researched about it the whole semester. I wrote a paper on it, and then I brought in other courses into my paper and my projects. I did choose gun violence as my global issue, so it's something I'm sort of interested in, and I got to learn more about it, so that's sort of cool. My next online class was sort of an elective class for me. I do have a minor in psychology, but I don't need any more classes, but I chose to take forensic psychology because it something that honestly I'm interested in. I've always enjoyed watching like true crime shows or um, documentaries on that sort of thing. So I really enjoyed that class. I got to do a bunch of projects on like serial killers and how they think the way they do and why they do the things they do. Um, so that class was super interesting. If you, if you have an opening in your schedule where you can take a fun class, I suggest taking forensic psychology. My advisor advised me to take a class that I thought would be fun because I likely wouldn't have the opportunity to do that again. So I took that chance to take uh, this class. So pretty much forensic psychology is just all about the justice system, but also, you know, you're learning the laws, you're learning the difference in courts, what it takes to go to the Supreme Court, things like that, but you're also learning about the psychology behind it, how people are thinking, how the criminals think, how jurors think. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting class. So the rest of my classes were all on campus. The first one that I'll talk about is my capstone class. My capstone class that is biology based was advanced cellular and molecular concepts. Luckily for me, it's a class that I'm very interested in. Um, or a concept that I'm very interested in. The other ones that have been offered um, have to do with like ecology, um, and just things that I'm not as interested in. So I got really, really lucky in that class. I had a lot of fun. Pretty much what we did was every week we were given an article, um, whether it be on um, whether it be on Alzheimer's, we did Parkinson's, we did CBD oil, which is super interesting, how that can help with seizures and epilepsy. We we did all sorts of things. And like I said, it was very molecular based. So we learned about the physiology and the interactions with chemicals pretty much um, in various diseases. So that was super cool. And also in that class, I got to do my own research project. So pretty much what you do is you do like a research simulation. So like I would be technically doing my own research project, but based on previous research. So you would have to cite like everything you were doing throughout the process. And I learned a lot about scientific writing during that. Um, I did have a very harsh professor. Luckily for me, that meant that I got to learn a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it meant having to do a lot of corrections in drafts and things like that. So my research project in that class was the effects of caffeine consumption on the decrease of amyloid beta peptides and Alzheimer's characteristics in 
pantroglodytes and that's just chimpanzees so that was a lot of fun I got to really pinpoint my research and what I want to do like I said I'm really interested in neurology uh, so Alzheimer's is obviously a neurodegenerative disease so I got to take a bunch of research and I mean a lot of research I had about 40 to 50 sources in my paper and I pretty much did a simulated um, experiment which was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about Alzheimer's disease and the research um, in the process, so that was super cool. Um, and then my next class was organic chemistry. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have already taken organic chemistry. I took it at Georgia State, and then whenever I transferred to this school, they didn't want to take my transfer credit, so I was taking it again. Um, however, I think I learned, relearned a lot of things that I had just not really I did get an A in the last one but like that I just sort of let stray away from my brain so I got to freshen up on that which is awesome especially for like the MCAT and the experiments were a little bit different than what I did at Georgia State but they were a lot a lot of fun I got to isolate caffeine from tea and things like that just nerdy things I got to make aspirin which was also cool so yeah, that class is super fun. Organic chemistry is a lot, a lot of memorization. And if you are taking organic chemistry, please, you need to pay attention to the equations. The equations are literally formulas, and I don't think a lot of people get that. They just see, like, for instance, an epoxidation reaction. They'll see this and, like, a bunch of different chemicals going through the same reaction, and it'll just, like, freak them out or whatever but it's literally a formula so if you are taking that class I suggest just writing down the basic um, equations memorizing those and then you'll be good to go from there so then the last class that I took is cognitive psychology this particular class I chose to take because it is with the professor that is the chair of psychology at my school luckily for me she really really likes me and I really would love for her to be a reference for me in the future um, whether that be a job whether that be graduate school so I really wanted to take another one of her classes cognitive psychology is a lot of fun I love learning about psychology and the way people think through things um, cognitive psychology is a lot of like memory you learn how to better memorize things which was really good for studying tips you learn about perspective uh, speech perspective you learn about language you learn about problem solving decision making things like that it's a lot of fun and if you're interested in that I also highly suggest taking that class and that also overlapped a lot with my capstone which was the advanced molecular concepts because that was sort of like the physiology behind it but then I also got the psychology aspect when I was in cognitive psychology so then also in that class I got to do another research project and I chose to do gender and decision making so pretty much I researched decision making and how men and women differ when they're going through the cognitive processes and making decisions which was super cool uh in the sum of it pretty much men are more willing to make risky decisions and women take way more time analyzing what's gonna what's gonna come out of the process and they're less willing to take risks uh there's a lot more too but that was just the main thing from it so yeah, that class was a lot of fun too. So overall, I got A's in all classes. I just wanted to say, um, and just before I filmed this, I saw a comment on, I think it was my last semester one, where I talked about my classes and how they went, and someone was like, why'd you get now? Uh, she probably failed or dropped it. Um, no. First off, and I'm not going to go out on a tangent, but people like that just, I can't. When I see mean comments like that, I'm just like, have a good day. Sometimes I'll say something a little sassy, but it's really not worth my time. And also, if I was doing poorly in classes, I definitely wouldn't be putting myself on the internet talking about my classes. Especially when there's people in real life that watch my videos, know my grades, know how I perform in school. I wouldn't be doing that. So feel free to think what you want, but I didn't fail anything. I have not failed a single thing in college, high school is a whole different story. I never actually failed a class in high school, but I was very, very, very close. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I have one more semester left. I will be making a video uh, more towards the semester on the classes that I'm going to be taking, so you guys can look forward to that. I will also be talking about my plans for after I graduate in a different video, so if you want to look out for that, stay tuned. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day wherever you guys are, and until next time, bye!